was that? That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? The old sanatorium. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's He's good. That's really not good. Yeah. Say that again. Oh my god. Wolves? Really? And wolves. A, a, what the fuck? This guy's got wolves at his uh, command? Oh boy. That's not good. Holy shit. I wonder if this guy's. Is this guy the killer or is he just an innkeeper or something? Oh boy, he's got wolves. That doesn't scare the hell out of me at all. Crazy guy with dogs. Wonderful. Fuck, those things look mean. Let's get a closer look. Wish I had a pistol right now. That would help. You know what? We need to lose that lantern, because that lantern is giving us away. Why would you get a closer look? Just run, dude. Just get the hell out of there. Call the cops. Get a closer look. Why? What, you want to die that bad? We don't have time for closer looks, dude. We, we gotta get out of here. We need to call the cops, man. We don't have time for this closer looks nonsense. Yeah, yeah, closer look. Let's get killed. That, that dude, haven't you seen a movie? Don't you know what's going on, man? Damn it. Closer look. Stupid son of a bitch gets a closer look. So they all say before they get their heads cut off. You know it. You know it's true. There's no argument. The old sanatorium. Oh, yeah. I love hearing those fucking wolf howls. Oh, man. That makes me feel great. Do we have anything around here? Is there any clue or anything like that around here? Oh, I fucking knew it. I knew there was going to be a clue here. Found it. Found it. What do we got here? Oh, it's a totem. Nice. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, shit. That's a death totem. Oh, it's a fortune totem. I don't even know what that is. What the hell's a fortune totem? I assume it tells my fortune. A prophecy of good fortune. Nice. Okay, good. Fuck, awesome. I've been waiting for some fucking good fortune. Found in the uh, sanatorium by Mike. What is that? Okay. So, I don't... I don't even know how to react to that, okay? So we gotta stand outside a, a, a fence or something? I don't even know. We gotta stand outside some sort of cellar or something, okay? I'll keep that in mind. I'm sure it will apply in real time at some point later on, and maybe I'll... If I'm capable enough, I'll apply it correctly. <laughs> So you gotta stand outside. Don't go through the front door. So don't go through the front door. I think that's what I just learned. Don't go through the front door. The front door will probably lead to me getting killed. So why don't we... Can I go back here? Like, can I Can I walk around here? Can I? Oh, I can. No, it's a dead end. Okay, so let's not enter through the front door. Why don't we go ahead and... Um, that's gonna be bad news for us. Why don't we see if there's a sort of back way here somewhere where we can enter. What is this? Condemned. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? Right, exactly. A condemned sanatorium. A lunatic asylum. Oh boy. That's exactly what I want. There we go.
Let's move this fucking thing over. Um. Okay, we can just walk in there then, can we? Oh yeah, great, it's a great idea. Let's just get it. Let's climb in here. I'm sure something good will come of this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Why would you go in here? You know you're not supposed to do this, dude. Again, this guy's probably seen movies. How could he do this? Why would you do this? Oh yeah, just go cr just go into the kind of creepy place and just wait, work your way into that maze so you can never get out. I'm sure that'll just end totally swell for you, buddy. I'm sure you'll get out of here alive, Mike. Can I climb up there? Is there a staircase or something I could take? What am I doing here? I don't know how to get up there. Wow, this place is fucking creepy as hell. Wow, Jesus Christ. Ah, clue. I see a clue. Beautiful. I think that's a clue. If I could just walk up and take it, damn it. I, I think I see something here. Yep. That is a heavy drum. Okay, that's one. Got something here, huh? Oh, we got a totem. We got a totem. Oh, that's a... Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oy vey. Found in the sanatorium by Mike. Oh shit, that's a lost totem. What the hell is going on here? Oh man, that's, that's, uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's no, not good. Okay. Let's jump up here, Mike. Come on, Drake. Nathan Drake, get up here, buddy. That stupid lamp he's got. Stupid lantern. Okay, let's, uh, wait a minute. I see something here, there's something... Oh, that's a lamp. Okay, never mind. Slowly make our way across this. There we go. Man, this is problematic. Yeah. Wow, this place is really creepy. Jeez, man. Welcome to the old sanatorium. Just got an Assassin's Creed vibe for about five seconds, and then I went back to creepy. Oh, I, dude, I hear dogs. I, hold on a second, I hear dogs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Ah, uh, a little freaked out by these dogs. No, why would you open the door, you idiot? Why would that be a good idea? Dummy. Okay. I can't get through there, can I? I think I actually remember uh, seeing a uh, review for this game, and, and one of the reviewers mentioned something like, if you don't hurt the dogs, if you're just kind to the dogs, later on in the game it'll actually benefit you. The dogs will help you out in some way, so I'm not going to hurt the dogs. Interestingly enough, one of the reviews kind of spoiled this part for me. Not in a major way, but just in a very minor way. Dude, that shit is creepy as fuck. I can hear those fucking dogs. I, they look like wolves, for fuck's sakes. Not even dogs, they're fucking wolves, man. By God, man, have you gone mad?
Do I, are there any other totems here that I can pick up anywhere? Got anything here? I don't think so, no. Can't see anything, so. Why don't we just work our way uh, in here? Ah, there we go. Got something here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Opened in, uh, was it, is that 1922? Is that what it says? 1922. Wow, the Blackwood Pines Sanatorium. Bring all your crazy people here and we'll lock them up for a price. Yeah, those worked really well. Yeah, that was awesome. Locking a bunch of crazy people up. That totally worked. That's why we don't have those anymore. Shut them all down because they weren't working at all. God, I can hear those fucking dogs. Ugh. Freaking me out, man. It's freaking me out. God, those things are fucking rabid, dude. Oh, shit. We got a totem. Is that a... No, that's a camera. Okay. Nice. Broken camera. And we got a clue. There we go. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Huh. Well, then. That's not good at all. Fuck the sanatorium. I wonder if this guy's the killer. Is, is um, not Mike. Um, yeah, not Mike. I'm talking about this crazy guy who I just followed into the sanatorium. I wonder if, uh, find the, uh, key card to open the chapel door. Nice. Got some, uh, Resident Evil type. A little bit of a Resident Evil structure here. Go find a key card. Oh, man, this place is a fucking maze, man. I wonder if this guy that I'm following, the, the the guy who's living in here, I wonder if he's the killer or if he's just some random dude. Who the hell knows? Huh. Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. What's the intrigue? The Alberta Post? What? A newspaper dated, uh, dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. Wow. Is that, is that the camera I just found? I don't know. Huh. So the reporter tried to talk to some of these miners and they didn't allow that to happen at the sanatorium and the security guards confiscated his uh, camera? Really? Wow. And he got and he got attacked. Huh. The security personnel at this place beat up a reporter and took his camera. What the fuck? Why would they do that? What is going on here? Was that his camera? Like, was that the same camera? My god. How old is this fucking place? Did nobody clean this place after 50 years? 60 years, I think. Not even 50. It's like 60. What do we got here? Medical notes, huh? One of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Wow, that's not good. Okay. So they rescued a couple miners from a mine and then they put them in the sanatorium. Why the hell would they do that? That's so weird. That is so weird. So they rescued miners after 23 days of them being trapped. And then they put him in a sanatorium. Why the hell would they do that? Why don't they just 
Why don't they just let him go? Yeah, why would you put him in a sanatorium? Just let the poor guys go. Get him some medical treatment, get him some food, some water, and let him go. Oh god, we're going down a staircase. That's never good. Oh boy. Get ready for this. Oh god, I can hear bloodthirsty dogs. Oh boy. I'm nervous, man. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous about this. Don't like this very much. Oh. Is that a knife? What is that? Get that knife. Grab that knife. Just take that knife. We need that knife. Finally, we got a weapon. Hell yeah. Ugh. The hell was it cutting? Hell yeah. Kill somebody now. Fuck with me. This is like some Uncharted shit, dude. Look at this guy. It's Nathan Drake over here. I keep saying it over and over again, but it's true, you know? Not a joke. He really is Nathan Drake. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a clue right here. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Oh, God. What's behind here? Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. That's not good. This is where they uh, shocked all the mental patients. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. Yeah, right. Like they fucking electroshocked them, dude. Wait a minute. Hold on. What is this right here? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I guess it, it said updated. I apparently hadn't looked at it yet. Oh boy. Okay. Well, someone's getting strapped in and killed apparently. Or something. This is probably where they took the mental patients, you know, and... Twisted fuckers like the watch, I guess. Ugh. God damn. Fucked up, dude. Putting mental patients in that fucking chair? Yeah, right. I'm not interested in that. Is there anything here? Do we have any kind of uh, items I need to pick up or anything? Nope. I'd like to find those clues so I know what the hell is going on around here. There's got to be a clue right here. There's got to be. I knew it. Yep, I knew it. Oh, it this is. Who the hell would it? Why the hell would they keep these guys here? Why the hell would they keep a bunch of miners here? Again, it's like, what the fuck? Why would they keep a bunch of miners here who were trapped for 23 days in a mental asylum? What's the point of that? Let them go. Just let them free. Why would you make them go crazy in here? Dangerous fucking place. Oh shit. The fuck was that, yo? Oh, yeah, great. Big skeleton. Hold on. Let me go into this room. There might be something here. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for right there. Ooh, got ourselves a clue. Hell yeah. Reply immediately. Reporters and others, snoopers, to be kept away at all costs. What are you talking about? Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Yeah. What? I don't... This is so weird. Well, it definitely looks like the mine o owners were trying to trying to cover something up, yeah. So they were trying to cover something up, huh? Oh, shit. The, miner, the miners must have found out that uh, the mine was structurally... You know, deficient. And then they somehow locked them up in here forever or whatever? Maybe the mine owners somehow locked up the mine workers in here so that they wouldn't tell the press. What a bunch of fucking assholes. 
So who is this guy? Is he a mine worker? Crazy mine worker trying to kill everyone? Maybe the mine workers went nuts when they put him in the sanatorium. This is the wheels. This is the yeah. This is the watching room. Oh god, creepy as fuck. Okay. Oh, we got a clue right there. Oh my. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is happening right here? Dude. Oh. Is this what he was feeding them? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. He just lost his fingers. The fingers are fucked. Oh my god, dude. You're gonna cut your fingers off, aren't you? Oh lord fucking almighty. No, pry the tra pry the fucking trap open, man! Open the fucking bear trap. I'm not gonna cut my fingers off. You fucking nuts! <laughs> Fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit, Mike! Uh, I'm gonna I, 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 fuck. I'm cutting the fingers off. I gotta cut the fingers off. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! The oh, wolf's gonna shit. kill me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't want to fucking. Fuck! <laughs> ah! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I just cut my fingers off. I just cut my fucking fingers off. If I didn't cut the fingers off, I'm telling you that wolf would have killed me. Mighty. Mo, you Catch a tiger by the toe, if he Let him go. I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you, if I didn't cut the fingers off, if I kept trying to pry the, uh, the trap open, uh, that wolf was gonna come and kill me. The wolf was gonna kill me from behind, just, just, you know, rip into my head. I had to cut the fingers off, because I knew that wolf was gonna get me if I didn't. You just, you just knew that was gonna happen. It's one of those, like... You, if you've seen enough horror movies, you know exactly what happens. You're not paying attention, and something comes up behind you and kills you. Oh my fucking god, man! Why the fuck would that even be there? Fucking sick motherfucker put that there. Fuck, who the fuck puts a trap like that there? Fucking prick. I just lost my fucking fingers because of that fucking scumbag. What this the fuck? This just gets better and better. What the shit is that? Strange skull. Wow. I just found a strange skull and I lost my two fingers. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. Ugh. God, what the fuck? Get me out of this fucking place. Sick of this fucking hellhole. What is this? Do I want to open this? Oh, fucking lord. Oh my god, there's gonna be burned bodies. Oh my god, there's gonna be a burned body. Certificate. I'm telling you, there's going to be a human body in one of these. I just know it. What? The body was partially eaten. Whew, okay. Somebody got... Somebody ate a human body. Wow. Somebody was eating parts of a human body. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I mean, I know it's an insane asylum, but come on, guys. It's a cliche. Oh, boy. We got a body. We got a fucking body.
Ew. Yuck, gross. Who is that? Who the hell is that? Someone who works here? Oh, there's a card. <laughs> well, I got my key okay, card. Let's check this out. Well, that's disgusting as fuck. Wow. Let's go ahead and open some other ones. There might be something here. Might be a clue or something. Wow, this is disturbing. What is that? What is that? Just name tag. Oh, we got a name tag. Okay. What do we got here? What's the name tag say? A mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Bowen. Attack by inmates. Facial lacerations to the throat. Ooh. Wait a minute. Why does that name sound so familiar? Was that the reporter that was here? Who was Nicholas Bowen? Trying to figure out who the hell Nicholas Bowman was. Because didn't I just hear that name like a couple of minutes ago? Nicholas Bowman. Wow, this is fucked up, dude. It's a bit of an understatement, but yeah, it's screwed up. Wow, that's an old ass system. Jesus. That's analog as hell, dude. Wow. It's crazy. That's a real thing that existed. I I'm only familiar with like digital, you know, key card, you know, physical key cards, but you scan them and then it just kind of does it whatever through a digital process. But wow, that's a fucking analog ass process. Damn. 1950s just called, man. They want everything back. Yikes. That's fucking cool, dude. Old ass 1950s technology. Ugh, creepy ass fucking. I feel like I'm playing Silent Fucking Hill. Get me out of this fucking place. I didn't sign up for this. I got roped into this. There was a sale. It was a PlayStation sale. Oh, my fucking Christ! Jesus Christ! Good dog, good dog. Don't, don't, don't. Here's, here's some food. Give him some food. Give him some fucking food. Always carry beef with you. Always carry fucking. Jesus Christ! Run! All fucking mighty run! Die! Dog meat door. You fucking bitch. Oh boy. Oh, he's a oh boy. This guy knows something's up. Fucking crazy motherfucker knows something's up. Uh, hold on, hold on. There's gotta be something. Is there something around here that I can pick up or something? Hold on. Uh. Jesus Christ, do I want to go down this way, or fuck it, I'll just go down this way. Is this a quaint little psycho crib? Oh, I guess it's not. Because you never know if you're going to look through something, or if you're going to activate some sort of event that you're going to like. Like, I didn't know whether, if I hit X, I didn't know whether I was going to jump down there, or whether I was going to look through it. It's kind of annoying. I don't want to trigger too much of the story before I walk around the environment and pick up all the stuff that I need to pick up, you know? Especially in this game, you want to pick up all the extra stuff because it makes you—it makes it that much easier to actually stay alive rather than get killed because you don't know what's going on. Although I've already lost one character, right? One or two of them. I lost two girls already. Right, back in here. And neither of them was Emily, so that sucks. That the one person that hasn't died yet, Emily. Yeah, that's great. That's fair. That's fair. All the cool chicks get killed, but Emily's still alive. Yeah, wonderful. Great. Miss 4.0 is still alive. Wonderful. Yeah. This is the part where the dog is going to come out of nowhere, and I think I have to be nice to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it'll help me out later on, I think. Thank you, game reviews. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Do not hit it. Don't hurt it. Yeah, see? You can be nice to it. See? I'm nice to it. I got no problem with you. 
I, I, I'm a mammal. I'm a mammal. We're both mammals. Give him some food. See, if you hit him, see, if you hit the dog, if you had hit the dog, he would not have helped you out later on. But, if you don't hit him, if you don't hit him, he'll help you. I know, I know, it's an interesting thing. If you don't hurt animals, they're actually, like, nice to you. It's weird, right? It's almost like it makes sense. Oh, God, the fucking dog scared the shit out of me. Fucking crazy dog. <laughs> What's in here? Human head. Human head. Going with human head. I'm going with human head. Uh... What is that? Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Yeah, he... Is that a human bone, dude? Or is that a... Is that a... What the hell kind of bone is that? Uh... Is that a human bone? Oh, please tell me it's not a fucking human bone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Tell me it's not a fucking human bone. Is there anything over here? Let's go give Wolfie some, uh, some bones. Here, we got a human femur for you. Hello, Mr. Wolf. No, no, no. You gotta pet them from the bottom. Never Easy. hold your hand above their head. Always below. That's you hold it below. That's right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Making friends with the animals. Friends with the wildlife. Can I pass here? Are you gonna do the Gandalf yeah, thing? I, hey, buddy. Like yeah. <laughs> He's a nice dog. Like loving, right? mm -hmm. Can I pet him again? Yeah. How many times can I pet this dog? Oh. That's the same animation. That's a nice dog. I like that. That's a good dog. Hey, as long as he's not trying to rip my throat, I'm fine. I got no problem with you, buddy. As long as you're not trying to kill me, I got no problem with you, pal. Hey, what is that? So, what have we here? He's just gonna put on the random guy's jacket, really. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, we gotta move the table. Oh, we got a pistol. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Nice. Fuck with me now, huh? I got this. Da 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 da. Hell yeah. Now he really looks like Nathan Drake. Look at this guy. Come on, Nathan. Let's kick ass and take names. In that order. I just saw a goat. I saw a clue here. How do I get in here? Oh. I'm like, how do I get in? Oh, maybe it's through the open doorway? Fucking freak. Clippings wall. The fuck is this about? A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Yeah. An obsessive mind, but we don't know if he's the killer. Although I've got a gun now, so I'm not really willing to ask him. I'm probably just going to point the gun at him and uh, assume he may be the killer. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. All I know is I have a gun. Wow. That actually worked. Awesome. Do we have any more bullets, though, or are we just empty now? Oh, that was the only bullet. You're done. The gun is basically useless now. It's got as much uh, use as a brick. Just throw it or hit someone with it. Maybe I can pistol whip this guy if he gets too close to me. Something tells me it's not going to happen. Something tells me that's not a possibility. Probably going to try to fire the gun at him, and then the gun, like, jams or doesn't work or something. Just like, fuck you. Here's my gun. It can't fire any bullets. Okay. Come kill me. God, this place is awesome, dude. This is atmospheric as 
This is really atmospheric, I have to say. Wow. Ooh. Ah, clue. There we go. That's what I was looking for. A clue. Got it. Got it. Right there. Ah, oh, we got a totem. Nice. Oh, my dum bum ba dum bum bum Whoa. Oh, shit. That's a death totem. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Okay, so we've got some gas thing going on here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A death totem? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I think Mike's going to be dropping dead pretty soon. So it looks like we got some sort of... Okay, so don't start the lighter. Whatever you do, don't start the lighter because I'm guessing there's some sort of gas here. There's The guy probably turned on the gas and if you uh, if you turn the lighter on, it's going to kill everything. Ah, oh, we got a clue. So there's going to be a room somewhere down here that's full of gas, so keep that in mind. Do not turn your lighter on. Do not do that. Huh. Mine rescuers, huh? That's interesting. A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. A plaque um, says that all 12 miners survived. What? Okay, so the miners survived and then they put them in a loony bin. That's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, just keep keep in mind that we're not going to use that lighter. Do not use the lighter. When the, when the lamp runs out, if the lamp breaks, do not use the lighter. Everything will be... You'll die. You'll die. You'll explode in fire. Do not do it. Do not, under any circumstance, use that fucking lighter. Keep that in mind. Make a mental note. We got anything here? Anything to pick up? Nope, nothing. <clears throat> nope, 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 nothing. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Let's keep going down this really creepy hallway. Oh, we got something there. Of course. Locked. Yeah, of course. Can we... Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Oh boy. Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay, I think that guy heard that. I'm pretty sure the guy heard that. That one... Ugh. The fuck? Oh, this guy's aware of everything, isn't he? Well, he knows how to work all the controls, doesn't he? God damn this guy. Hey, Matt. I haven't seen you in a while. Let's press it. Oh, hey, look at that. It doesn't work. It's locked. The hell who did that? And there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Yeah. Say that again. Jesus Christ. Crazy killer did it. I can't believe Josh is dead. I just saw I can't him. believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Oh my god, dude. Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but... Some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Yeah, I'm gonna take their word for it too. Although I did experience it, so. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Yeah, ditto. Grab that thing. Well, we got an axe now. That's the missing axe, and here's the axe. Definitely was not there before, no. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt! We'll yeah. break the door down, will ya? 
Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. <laughs> you will never fit That's through pretty there, funny. big guy. Why don't you get through there, then? Help Emily through. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff. Oh God, she can't do gonna... anything. God, she's not good for anything. Just do it! God, she can't do anything. Can't climb through a window. I gotta do everything. I'm gonna smash the doors open. Nice. to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's got to know this is the only way back. I don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good. Em. Fuck no, I'm not jumping not that. that God, Flatter, fuck that. Though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we going to do? I, I don't know. Oh, God. God. Everything is, like, so busted up. Yeah. Can't even get off. Knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, now we can't even get off this fucking whatever this place is, this isolated uh mountain. God damn it, we can't even get off this place now. Son of a bitch got us trapped here. Fuck. Someone really did a number on this joint. Yeah, Such right. Mess. This place was barely in working condition before and now well, it's fucked now, yeah. We're we're done, dude. Everyone's dying. There's a communications tower right there. Oh, we're right next to the communications tower. Nice. Well, there's a the sanitarium. There's gotta be something we can do. I'm all ears. Well, look at all this crap. There's gotta be something useful in here, right? We need to go to the ranger. Look. Yeah, ranger fire station. Tower. Yeah, fire tower, whatever. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? No. No, fuck the cable car. It's not gonna work. We need to go to that fire tower. We gotta go to the fire tower. Might be able to communicate with someone Very via radio. Yeah. Unfollow. Yeah, right. Unfollow. Die, die, die. Bleh. Fuck, man. Ooh, Great. There we go. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. It makes Matt, sense. we gotta get wow. to that radio. That was so weird. That guy said exactly what I said. I said probably, yeah, and he said probably, yeah. God, that was weird. Um... Yeah, let's go to that fucking. Let's get that radio. We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's got to pick up the signal. Got it. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? The fuck are you what talking rules? about? Rule number one: Emily is always right. Rule number two: Nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. I just, I did did it again. I just did it again. I just did that uh huh thing, and then he said uh huh as well. Wow. I'm in tune with these characters, man. I'm just reacting like you're supposed to react. I'm reacting oh. like someone who gets cast should react. At the actor's reaction. What is this? What's cooking? Good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Huh. 
<laughs> He's like, oh, oh, I don't know what to do. Come on, hurry up. I don't have time for this. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, you got a flashlight. Come with me, buddy. Yeah, no, duh. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Hell yeah. What's this guy's name again? My, what's this dude's name? Matt. Okay, Matt. Everyone's got really simple names. Mike, Matt, Emily. Very American names. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful. You all right? Yeah, uh, thanks. Maybe, um, God, this chick's annoying. Go first to protect me. Shut up. Shut up. God, this chick is so annoying. God, she's so fucking annoying. Just drop off okay, the fucking cliff. Now. Just die, please. Do us all a favor. All right. Matt's a good Gosh. guy. I like Matt. Almost. Matt's, Matt's a good dude. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Yeah, well, whatever. Who cares whether oh. you're faint. Okay. okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli, Batman. I've got an axe. I've got a fucking axe. Do we have something here? Ah, yeah, we do. It's a totem, isn't it? Ah, yes, it is. It is a totem. What kind of a totem is it here? Oh, we got a gun. Nice. Guidance totem. Nice. Okay, good, good. So it looks like a, uh, a flare. Okay, that's good. That means that if we make it to the uh, fire tower, we're going to get a flare gun. Okay, that's good. That's awesome. That's what I was well, that's, that's what I was looking for. That's good. So that means if we go to that fire tower, we're not going to get killed. At least I don't think we are. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But It'll work. It'll work. If it well, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? We need a plan. I know. I know. Maybe well, we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Yeah, I don't know about are that. You I don't think that's going to work, dude. What's the big deal? Positive thinking, if but I don't think it's like going to work. It's floating in the sky. Yeah, well, it might as well be a yeah, pitch black exactly. It's not going to happen. Hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. I have no idea, honestly. Maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. Well, he's not going to give up. It, it'll he's, be a lot easier to yeah. figure this all out. He ain't morning. giving up. He's killing us. As long us. as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Yeah, that's true, actually. And he's he's going to be in the lodge, by the way, because he's going to go prey on Hayden Penetier. Or whatever her name is, Sam. Yeah. Let's get to that watch tower, that fire tower. Hopefully there's a working radio. If not, at least there's a flare gun. We can fire it at his face if he tries to kill us. What's the, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's this way? She went to the right, but what, what, what happens if we go to the left? What the fuck is this? Wait, what's to the left? Hold on. Because she went to the right, but there might be something to the left. Where the hell am I? I don't even know where the hell I am anymore. Oh, shit. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, we found something. Oh, look at that. Oh, the phone, right? Or someone's phone. Huh. <laughs> Someone's totally frozen phone. How is that a clue? How's that gonna help us? Beth never want. Uh, Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this way on the night of the disappearance. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Why? My God. Oh right, right. The phone from the very beginning Whoa, of the this game. Is Beth's phone. Oh wow. I thought the police like swept the whole area. Clearly well, not. It looks like they missed this. Can I go any further here, or is it not? Oh, I can't go any further? Okay, that's good. Well, we found the phone. I guess that's better than not finding it. I don't know what that phone does, but hey, we got the phone. Maybe we can use it if the killer tries to kill us. We'll wave the phone in front of his face and say, Hey, remember this? And he'll go, Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then he'll kill us. Oh, shit, found another totem. Hells yeah. What is that? What is that? Okay, fortune totem. Okay. 
Okay. Fortune. A prophecy of good fortune. Okay, wonderful. Good, 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 good. Oh, it's Matt. Is it? Wait. No, it's not Matt. That's that's Josh, isn't it? Okay. Okay. I think that's uh, I think that's Josh. So he may survive. Okay, that's good. I hear cows mooing. Moo. It's always weird cows. Cow noises. Oh yeah, we're climbing down this. Yeah, right. Oh, it's a this. Oh, this. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Uh, that's a unique opinion. Um, wow, this is um, this is the same place where those girls died in the very beginning of the game. I just realized that. Yeah, this is where they fell. Wow. Yeah. Shoot, man. Well, definitely not scaling anything here. Uh oh, cutscene triggered. Matt, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh shit, badass deer. What the fuck is going on here? How come these deer are trying to kill me? What? This isn't supposed to happen. What the freak is going on here? That was the weirdest thing ever, dude. Oh, here's the killer, by the way. Look to your left. There he is. I saw this in one of the trailers for the game. I saw this in one of the previews, actually. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello? Guys? What are you doing out there? Being creepy? <laughs> yeah, technically, yeah. That's what's okay. happening. Okay. <laughs> Put some clothes on, Hayden. Come on now. Oh, this is the part where she's going to run into the killer. <clears throat> She's going to run into him, and he's going to chase her, and I'm going to use a baseball bat, hopefully, to bash him in the head. i got to make sure Hayden survives, though, because I feel like she's, like, the main character here. Although, I mean, not really, right? I mean, everyone's kind of a main character. Like, they're all kind of equal. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. They stole their clothes. Someone? Oh man, the fucking place is creepy as shit. Open sesame? Oh, it opened, wow. Surprise. Oh great, it's totally dark, I can't see shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. Fucking clock, yeah. Stupid ass clock. Chris? Mike? Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, alright? Yeah, well. You had enough? Huh. <laughs> no. Oh, the balloon just, uh. The balloon just detached. I've already seen this picture, right? Yeah, I've seen this. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? <laughs> towel it is then. Go with the towel. Go with the towel. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Oh, the balloons have little arrows on them. Well, that's nice. Arrows lead you to your death, eventually. Ooh, this is not good. I'm I'm gonna run into the killer in like a couple of minutes here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Grab that. Oh, it's a flashlight. Are you guys? Thought that was a candelabra. Well, 
this is weird. Oh shit, he's right there. Oh shit, he's right there. Fucking asshole's right hey. behind me. Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! Where is everyone? <laughs> what the fuck? Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? No. I don't no. think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What's going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. What? What Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are you life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Um. What? Josh! How does it make you feel? Oh my God, what did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. No, eight, no, 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 no. He's right there. He's seven. right there. Oh, shit! Sam! Uh, throw vase, throw vase. Run! You fucking crazy! Run, 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 run! Oh, man. Oh, shit. Don't bother hiding. Hiding ain't gonna do shit. He's just jumping, just jumping. He's not gonna matter. Hiding doesn't fucking work. Run! Fuck this guy, lumbering motherfucker. Wrong girl, run! Grab a bat. Gra There's a baseball bat down here. Grab that fucking bat. Hit him in the fucking head. Uh, you gotta run. Just run. Fuck it, just run. I'm not hiding for shit. Just run. Oh, come on. Come on. Fucking leave this fucking bullshit. Force that shit. Force it. Come on, Sam. Come on. Get that fucking door. Oh, shit. I got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck you, pal. Fuck you. Fuck your arm. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Where am I now? Fuck, where the hell am I now? Oh crap, I think I just went deeper into his lair. Oh shit. Open that door. Oh no. I'm deep in this fucking muck. In this house fucking garbage. Where the hell am I? Oh, this is... The, this is where the hell is this? Was there a whole mansion underneath the ground? A subterranean mansion? What the fuck is going on? Hi, I'm gonna hide. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, thank God, fucking God. Lord, all fucking mighty. Oh, I got a trophy, nice. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan, now did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. I know that. You think this mistake won't have repercussions? What do you do? What you say causes things to change. Yes. Oh, the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. 
You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Whoa! 